We're now saying hello to Professor Brinkley Bensick, a professor of anthropology at the Columbia University in New York. Hello, how are you? Great, thank God. Uh, we're talking to you now about an anti-Israel campaign, which you are a part of, a letter you're signed on. Uh, you know, first of all, tell us about this campaign. I'm just uh, actually a signatory for the letter that was written by a number of Columbia faculty to the Thai Kref uh, Institution. Thai Kref is a, an acronym begins with teachers. It's a teacher's retirement fund. And uh, many of us at Columbia University, many faculty, have our retirement funds invested through Thai Kref. And uh, a number of us, more than 100 in this letter, have uh, put together a petition that Tycraft divest from certain companies in their portfolio that support uh, or pen benefit from or profit from the occupation uh, in Israel. And that's the basic thing. It's a, it's a campaign that has its origins that go back to an inspiration to the, the, the divestment campaign against uh, uh, South Africa. Uh, although the historical situation is different here, it's that sort of campaign. It's a, it's a, a moral crusade. It's a crusade of, of people of conscience to who, who oppose that occupation and, and its illegalities. Professor, you're saying that this is a moral crusade. Now, you know, we're talking here about factories, companies, uh, with people, employees, uh, many of them actually local Arabs who work at these Jewish factories in Judea and Samaria. This isn't a boycott of people in that sense. It's a boycott of very specific companies. It's asking Thai Kref to divest from five particular companies which benefit from the military occupation and which provide military uh, armament and other kind of technologies for settlers and settler uh, uh, residences, etc. It's a, it's a very specifically targeted campaign in that sense. Now, Professor, you know we're seeing uh, these campaigns all over the world. Uh, mainly we've been used to seeing these things in Europe, and uh, now we're seeing a lot in America. What is it? What is it about Israel that, you know, gets on your nerves? We're not seeing you guys campaigning against very clear and obvious humanitarian crimes that are happening around the world, for example, in Syria. People oppose uh, all sorts of oppressive regimes and all sorts of uh, contemporary colonial circumstances. This is one that has world implications. Uh, and, and so and it's one that the United States is very implicated in and has not taken constructive positions. But now, increasingly, American citizens are understanding this. There's a recent campaign of students at Berkeley, the University of California at Berkeley, has uh, a similar kind of divestment move is afoot there. And this is a, a campaign that is of, of something like 25,000 professors are, are now petitioning this Thai Kref organization to take this gesture, to divest from these five companies, to uh, remove those, those investments from their uh, endowment portfolio. Um, that's, it's, that's the campaign, and it's, it's about awareness in the public, it's about building a moral sense that is now, it's, it's quite well established in the rest of the world, as you say, in Europe, and it's a universal, uh, international campaign for divestment and boycotts and sanctions, and it's growing very strongly here in the United States, and this is just one instance of it. And in me, you see simply a, a person who signed a letter to petition that foundation, that, that retirement organization, to make that divestment move. So what would be a success to see these companies go bankrupt? No, we'd find the final success would be for uh, Thai Kref, in this case, to divest from those five particular companies, remove them from their portfolio. And the idea being that is a statement about the uh, professors, in my case, my retirement income will not be used to, to finance uh, the occupation and military aggression against Palestinians. Professor, you're mentioning uh, that this is a crime, occupation, the big crime. What exactly are we talking about? We're talking about 1967, Israel was attacked. Israel fought back, liberated these lands. Uh, the facts on the land haven't changed. What crime are you talking about? I think it's very simple crime to seize somebody's property and steal it. The settlements in the occupied territories are illegal. They're on other people's land, they have stolen that land, and it, it can't go on. I mean, this occupation has to end, and this is part of, of, of a movement, a campaign in this country and around the world to see that it ends. Well, Professor, it's important to note here that Israel, you know, has been acting uh, relating to different areas of this land, uh, relating to every claim about a property uh, we've seen. We've seen communities that were uprooted and, and, and homes that were 
demolished because of issues of property. Uh, but you, of course, are acting against the, the entirety of uh, Judea and Samaria, Jerusalem, the Golan Heights. Let me ask you about this campaign, Professor. Uh, you know, we're, we're seeing it around the world. It's a worldwide campaign. Is it growing? The campaign is definitely growing. It's growing very, very strongly. I mean, you see this action here with the Thai Kref uh, organization. I mentioned the campaign at Berkeley. This is uh, something that's in many American colleges and universities, both the faculty and the students. I'm a member of the faculty kind of organization who's, who's making this divestment campaign come to life. But so also the students are very, very active. And increasingly, the American public is becoming very aware of, of the realities of the situation, the illegalities and possibilities of the situation. And this will begin to move the American government. Now, is this all private initiative, or are we talking about, you know, activity that is backed and supported by uh, uh, official authorities. You know, in the case of the University of California at, at Berkeley, they have a student organization, the student government has voted, and very just the last days, the, the president of the student government has said he will not veto that, that decision, and so they have a very strong, um, very significant new momentum there in terms of divestment. Okay, Professor Brinkley-Messick of the Columbia University in New York, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.